Now, thousands of migrants in southern Mexico have started a march to the capital. They're calling for an end to the use of detention centers and want the United States to speed up their asylum applications. Well, earlier I spoke to our Latin America regional editor Mimi Swabi and started by asking why the migrants had taken such drastic action. So they're calling for two things. Firstly, the end to these detention centres, largely coming off the back of the really tragic incident about a month ago in northern Mexico in Ciudad Juarez, when 40 migrants died in one such centre after a fire broke out. They actually attributed a prayer and a moment of silence before starting their journey today as a collective group. And like you said, the second thing is that they want their applications to be sped up. Lots of these migrants have spent months now in this center waiting, unsure what's going to happen next, unsure where they can move to next. They've come over the border from Guatemala, a lot of them, this is very close to that border. And now they seem to be stuck in this kind of limbo, unable to move forward, but then they can't really or don't want to go back either. What are the conditions on the route like? It's a really treacherous route. It's over a thousand kilometres long and can take up to 10 days. There are lots of families on this route. We've seen some videos of long lines streaming, it seems, up this coastal highway. People carrying possessions, their rucksacks, a bottle of water. It's also quite dangerous. One of the reasons people travel en masse is largely for safety. They think if they band together, they have a better chance of firstly arriving in Mexico City and also then defending themselves either against the state or discrimination they may face on their route. And how long is it going to take them to reach Mexico City and, and what are they likely to do when they get there? So it could be up to 10 days depending on how quickly they, they get there, how quickly they walk, how many breaks they take. It is very hot and during the day, conditions walking can be really tough. And when they get there, the challenges don't end. They will maybe apply, apply for uh, refugee apl applications, but they probably won't have very high chances of getting these, especially after President Joe Biden of the US has enforced stricter, more severe um, policies and now the numbers crossing that border are actually a record low during his presidency. So once, if they get to Mexico City, they will have to face more challenges. And these policies have really created a bottleneck in northern Mexico on that frontier, creating a really uh, challenging environment for migrants every step of the way. But that seems to be kind of the limit where most can get to. Mimi Swaby there.